but it's Frankel. The reputation was high and he's going to conquer it. And it's Frankel who wins the duo. He's stretching away and Frankel maintains his unbeaten record. And the amazing performance as Frankel heads towards the line to make every single yard in the Guinness and win it well. Irish jockey Tom Queerley is best remembered for his wonderful association with the great British champion Frankel. Queerley guided Frankel to 14 straight wins and they remained unbeaten on the racetrack. Add to that more than 30 Group 1 victories worldwide, over 1,000 race wins. It's an impressive record and we caught up with Tom Queerley trackside last Saturday. Tom, welcome to Macau. Great to have you here, albeit for a short while. Tell us what brought you here. Thank you very much. Um, it's nice to be here. Um, it, it, the whole um, trip here it came about uh, through my old friend Stanley Chin, who um, I've been friends with for, for years since his time in Aidan O'Brien's. And um, he suggested to me to pop in for a month or so. Um, I've been doing some uh, track work in um, America in, on fairgrounds. I'm getting fit that way and I thought to, to put the final touches to my fitness for the season back in England I thought pop in here for three or four meetings and, and try my luck and thankfully it's been lucky so far. You're from a, a racing family, you were champion Irish apprentice, champion English apprentice, then you went on to ride for the great, the legendary Sir Henry Cecil, you rode some wonderful horses there including twice over, midday was a horse that won a Breeders' Cup turf for you in the USA. So the world was going well for a young Tom Queerley, but it was about to get a whole lot better when a magnificent colt named Frankel walked into the yard. Tell us about Frankel. Yeah, like, uh, like the other horses you mentioned, there were magnificent days. I've been mean, very um, lucky to be associated with horses like that. I mean, um, midday to win in America, uh, twice over won um, numerous Group 1s, including two champion stakes. He also uh, was successful in... Um, the Emirates and you know, like you say Frankel came along so as if things weren't going as good as they were they just got an awful lot better and yeah, he was a magnificent colt and um, he was head and shoulders above anything um, that I've seen or he raced against or we might ever see so you know it, it, there was a very special time and um, it, it sort of all my other big wins, it sort of pales them into insignificance, really, and, and they're anything but insignificant. But, uh, yeah, no, it's great, and it's a great, I find it's always a great selling point that I can, I've been very, very lucky, you know, tr through the horses I've ridden, because at the end of the day, it's about the horses. It's, like, we, we, you know, a jockey is only as good as the horse you're on, and I've always been um, a great believer in that, and you're only as good as the chances you get, and, uh, but, with the horses like I've ridden, it's given me the opportunity to ride in some amazing um, constituencies around the world, and and uh, you know, and it, it doesn't look like it's stopping. You know, Macau is just the latest of my my world travels, if you want to call it. Frankel is uh, every jockey's dream. A horse like Frankel, everyone wants a Frankel. Every jockey wants a black caviar. Once you get them, there must be an awful amount of pressure once they start to win and to maintain that unbeaten record you must have had a, a tremendous amount of pressure on your race day yes pressure yeah it, but i i found my the pressure that i had with, with him i turned it into sort of a constructive energy in that you know you get in the zone and you're you're, you're thinking about the race and you have pressure when you're sitting down having your boiled leg at breakfast you have pressure on the way in the car you have pressure you know right up to the point you, you get legged up on the horse and then for me everything sort of leaves you because you're at one with your horse it's it's like being a kid with your pony you're suddenly in your own little zone so that that's how i used to deal with it yeah of course there's pressure and, and there's a job to be done and and you have to be seen to do that job as competently as as you can and and look luckily and thankfully the horse stayed unbeaten and now he's a superstar stallion. Now you've travelled the world, you've ridden on many different race tracks. How does our two tracks in Macau compare to what you've uh, ridden worldwide? Yeah, the, the, the dirt is, is not unlike um, anything I've experienced in, in the States. Uh, the turf uh, is a, a little bit softer and shiftier today, but uh, I'd imagine, I'd envisage if, if it was nicer weather, we've had a, a bit of rain and that, so um, I'd say once once the weather is nice, I'd say it rides pretty good. So, yeah, it, 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 it seems to be a very, very well-run professionally 
um, done thing here and, and you know I'm, I'm, I'm just very lucky to be to be accepted here for, for this short period of time and you know it's, it's nice if, if I can promote my own profile as well as the Macau Jockey Club's profile then it's a, it's a worthwhile experience. Any chance we might be able to entice Tom Quilly back again some of our future race days perhaps even a, a little bit of a warm-up stint again before the UK season next year? Yeah all options are open and I've enjoyed it so far um, when I had my stint in Hong Kong a few years ago um, it, it captured my imagination here and uh, yeah, there's no reason I'll, I'll pop back again at some stage be it for a, a short or long stint who knows we'll see how we get on over the next few weeks Tom Queerley it's been a pleasure good luck with the Tin Man next season thanks very much yeah, he's a horse to look forward to so um, he, he mightn't have the, uh, the same f swagger as Frankel but he's, he's still competing at the top level and once I'm doing that I'm happy